from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kara Sundland. It's certainly been a hectic day for teachers, parents, and students across the state after a threat about school violence surfaced on TikTok. Schools in Norwich and Glastonbury were closed due to the threats, although nothing has been substantiated. It's concerning. Um, you know, we've had a couple of, uh, you know, scares this year. Uh, nothing that ended up amounting to anything, but uh, the school did take some precautions, uh, which you know, I fully appreciate them doing so. A 13-year-old student in Nagatuck was arrested for sharing a social media post suggesting students stay home from school because of what he might do. And public schools in Wolcott were dismissed early because of rumors over school violence. The superintendent said the rumors were creating too much of a distraction. State Republicans discussed the digital vaccine passport program this morning. The voluntary program would be a way for businesses to require and verify that their patrons be vaccinated before they enter. Governor Ned Lamont said it would only be available to businesses that want to participate, though state Republicans are concerned that some residents could be denied entry into pharmacies or grocery stores. We could have situations where there are companies like a CVS, where this was rolled out the other day, could deny access to residents to get prescription drugs, to get goods and services, uh, especially in communities that might be underserved by grocery stores uh, or by, by pharmacies, uh, that that is the only access that these individuals have to those stores. Governor Lamont said he wants to see the passports in use by the end of the month. All right, we're in early warning weather alert mode because of a storm system that's going to be making things a little bit messy during the day tomorrow. Let's take a look at Futurecast. Tomorrow's weather today shows increasing clouds overnight. And by tomorrow morning, precipitation starts rolling in. Rain for the shoreline, sleety, icy mix for inland Connecticut. And it kind of lasts throughout the day tomorrow on and off with a little burst towards tomorrow evening into very early Sunday morning. So not a blockbuster storm, but nonetheless, it could bring a coating to two inches of accumulation in northern Connecticut. Sunday looks better, 36 degrees with mostly sunny skies and then cold for the foreseeable future.